Hey, what's up everybody? I'm FHRC Brony, and today I'm here to show you how to break in a brush motor. Um, I've actually done this before a long time ago, but those were poor quality video footage. So I decided to make a better quality video of how to actually break in your brush motor. Now, you basically need a battery connected to your ESC and your ESC connected to the motor. Um, basically the same setup as if it was in your car. And also don't forget to plug in your receiver and turn on your transmitter and stuff like that. But make sure the motor is not connected to your car, like it's connected to the drive gear. Alright? So, um, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, by the way, you also to do this break-in procedure, you need to have distilled water. Do not use tap water or basically water from the sink as if particles may get into the motor and may harm the components inside of it. So just use distilled water or... There's like little particle, little to no particles in there. So, um, yeah, let's get this started. Now, before I start doing this procedure, I do want to say that I actually cleaned up my Fortec uh, 2.0 thoroughly. I just need to get my slash there cleaned up and stuff. Because um, the reason why I cleaned up my Fortec is because I'm planning to go to, the, to my local RC track tomorrow since, there, since the on-road track is ready for, for use. Um, I'm talking about a carpet track, you know, track, or an RC track made out of carpet. Um, so I just need to do this so they can tech it in, because they don't want a dirty car being driven on the on their clean carpet track. Anyways, all you need to do is turn on your transmitter, which I did, and then turn on your ESC. Now my ESC is on. Alright, as you can see my motor is moving right there. So... Now your next thing is to do is uh, just a little, just a, maybe a quarter throttle. You're gonna slowly dip it into the mo into the distilled water. Ugh! Look at that. That just already merely made the thing dirty already. <laughs> yeah, I have been yeah I have been bashing this car for a, for a long time without cleaning up that motor. Look at that. That's dirty. Now, uh, don't be like me, uh, where I kind of where I overflowed, where I uh, put accidentally put too much water into the cup. Um, people recommend you you do not do that. Just put like like maybe half, three quarters of it, and you'll be fine. But don't be like me. Basically, you you just gotta give it a little bit of throttle. And let the let the motor run. As you can see, I'm starting to get dirty here. <laughs> yeah, I should not be doing that. Yeah, you guys can all laugh at me for that. But um, but this is the basic idea. You just gotta run the motor in there until maybe the battery runs up, runs out or something. Because in my case, my battery's about to die soon. But uh, just do this for a couple of minutes and then and let go of the throttle once it's done. So I'm gonna do this uh, right off camera and I'll come back to you later. Yeah, like I said, use distilled water. Uh, do not use any of those particles. Because uh, I did that the hard way one time and it actually destroyed my other motor. Uh, my other Titan motor. Uh, this, is not the, this is not the second Titan motor uh, that's in this car. It's the same old stock one. But I've actually done this on, my, on another Titan motor that came on, off my slash. And that didn't work out and I had to get another motor for it. And as you can see, I already left a freaking mess in it. But, yeah, I'm going to clean this up. Uh, basically, uh... Just use distilled water to and slowly uh, dip that motor, that brush motor, into the into the distilled water as you're putting a little bit of throttle into it. So yeah, that's about it. So um, yeah, I think I turned my my car off. But basically, anyways, um, that's all you need to do. It's pretty easy. So um, see you guys next time.
something like this. Sound, nice sound of a good motor. Had this thing for since I uh, bought this car back in July, and it's still after a good break-in, it runs fine. Now that's some dirty water. 